What is good, Neo family? It's Ray J back with another video. And in this one, I want to break down what's going on with Neo, Tesla, Spy, Nvidia, the QQQ, and a couple of other tickers. I'm going to break down what's happening to the share price so far and what's going on with tomorrow as we have some big data coming out. It's going to affect how the market ends up moving. So I'm going to break down all this information, talk about what the technicals are suggesting, what you should be watching for as a Neo investor. But before I break anything down about all this information, let me just mention a few things. I'm firstly not a financial planner, so take nothing I say as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please check out the Moomoo link, which is down below and in the description. If you sign up for Moomoo, the link down below and deposit $100 into the account, you're guaranteed up to five free stocks. Now, this offer ends in just about 10 days, so check it out before they run out. Anyways, let's break down what's going on with NEO. So NEO has two things developing. You can interpret this in two different ways. You could argue that there's a possible inverse head and shoulders that developed on NEO and it's due for a bounce. You could also say that it has an inverse cup and handle that could lead to more downside in the future. So there are like two different ways to look at this. For now, I'm just going to try to be open-minded and talk about what's very likely by looking at the market. Now, it could end up affecting NEO. Now, when it comes to NEO, we have the NEO stock price prediction as the company eyes a major EV deal with Mercedes. This is going to lead to more volatility as once this potentially comes out, that could lead to more and more buyers potentially coming in. After soaring to a 2023 high of over $15 a share in early August, many others out there are anticipating more upside potential for the company if they do make some big announcements. But so far, we're just waiting to see what else is announced. And there is a lot of news about the Mercedes deal that could be once again coming out very soon. NEO is basically planning on making a deal with Mercedes where they're going to give Mercedes access to their research and development capabilities through talks. And then as a result, Mercedes is going to share their technology. So it's going to be very interesting if some kind of deal like this is closed. Uh, right now, uh, there's no official thing that's announced yet but if this news comes out it could be very bullish now when it comes to neo i just wanted to add that neo was talking about the ep9 the ep9 is a, to uh, a top uh global racing game that's the from the forza motorsports where you could create your ultimate glory alongside this so it's very very cool for them once again making in the top racing games getting more and more momentum more exposure and this is really cool because it shows the extents that Neo is willing to go to to really challenge their engineering and their designs. Now, for tomorrow, we have some big data coming out. We have the unemployment rate coming out. Currently, we have the forecast at about 3.8%. We want this to be very close to the forecast and the consensus. If it is around there, that's going to be pretty good for the markets. If it's too hot, you know, that could also uh, affect the market a little bit. I would say it being a little high or as expected would be like decent for the markets because the market wants unemployment to still remain at these highs because the Fed is going to be de-incentivized to be as hawkish. And if the unemployment number goes down, it's going to be bearish for the market. So we have to wait and see this data before we see how it ends up affecting us. Now, we have the non-farm payrolls coming out as well. We want that to be very close to consensus, not to mention manufacturing payrolls. And finally, we have the labor force participation rate all coming out. So we're going to be watching all of this data very carefully for tomorrow. As far as NEO goes, we have Deutsche Bank giving NEO a buy rating, which is a good sign for them. I also want to add that the price per ratio is quite decent, kind of flat right now as NEO is still performing equally with the market. And overall, there's not much change in the live short sales data. Looking at the current um, volume, we're at 22 million, it's a very flat volume. But generally, when NEO gets really tight like this, we tend to see some big moves coming. So an example would be like right here. We're getting really tight in this range for three, four days. Then we saw this big drop to the downside that happened as NEO dropped pretty substantially. Then over here, it got very tight right here. It got very, very tight. I could actually bring up the Bollinger Bands just to show you what I'm talking about. So we have these Bollingers, right? And we can actually use these to dissect how NEO is moving. What tends to happen is we get really tight before a big move, right? And you can see this many, many times in the chart. So for example, right here, we're just consolidating for quite a while. We saw a big drop here. Then right here, we got really tight, very, very tight. Then we, we saw this big drop that came right here. It got very tight for three days of just straight up consolidation before this thing broke out from 8.5 all the way up to about 9.3. And now it's getting really tight. It's been tight for the last two, three days. So I'm expecting a really big move in one direction to be coming. Now, the bears are going to argue that NEO has this inverse cup and handle. It's going to be crashing towards this like $8 area. The bulls will argue that, wait a minute, 
Maybe this is looking like an inverse head and shoulders. You can also ignore this wick right here. Uh, but there's a possible inverse head and shoulders that formed and that this thing is getting ready to pop towards this 9.5 area. Now, right now, it's going to depend on the market, in my opinion. There is a possible cup and handle that's forming on it as well. So there is potential for NEO to try to balance, but we need to see confirmation first for that to play out. So on SPY, I just want to call out we have a bullish divergence. It is making an attempt to balance. We also have a much smaller looking possible cup and handle here that could lead us to trying to trying to break towards this like 425 plus area to potentially 426. Uh, it's all going to depend on the unemployment numbers. Good numbers will push us to 426. If we get some bad numbers, the market could still sink. So it all depends on the numbers. We'll have to wait and see on that. Uh, right now, the more probable move would be upside if, as we have a potential cup and handle, but I can't promise anything until we see the numbers. As far as Tesla goes, I just wanted to call this out. Tesla looks like it's trying to consolidate up here, trying to hold up. It's getting very tight, so a big move should be coming. One thing that's kind of concerning, though, is we still have this head and shoulders on the four-hour time frame. If we're bullish, we're going to be watching Tesla try to break above uh, 265 to start push, pushing for 270. If we're bearish, we're going to see it end up failing and come all the way back down towards the mid-250s. Now, as of right now, we do have a bearish divergence that developed on Tesla. So there's a risk of it potentially cooling off a little bit. So I want to be very open-minded just to be safe as we have this head and shoulders. Now, before, if Tesla had held up a lot better, there would be a lot more potential. But I just want to be open-minded nonetheless and see how this thing ends up moving. This is going into tomorrow as we have the unemployment numbers. For Apple... This is looking a bit more bullish. It actually hit 175.4. This has a nice kind of like cup and handle like structure as it's trying to accumulate. We have this unfilled gap very close to this like 176 area. We could see this thing pop a little bit before it comes down, but this is going to depend on the unemployment numbers coming out tomorrow morning. Good numbers are going to launch this thing to fill the gap towards 176, and bad numbers are going to take this towards 173. It all depends on the numbers. Good numbers for unemployment will help the QQQ break 360. If it ends up breaking down tomorrow and we end up breaking below 356, that's going to be a bearish signal. So watch that very carefully as we're getting tighter and starting to consolidate. Last but not least for NVIDIA, the overall structure looks more bullish as this thing is continuing to push and push and push. But we're going to be watching this higher right here. So I could see this pop a little bit. But if we reject on 451, there could be some downside. So watch out for 451. We have some very tight resistance right there. It looks like it may test that, and we could reject off that from a technical standpoint. Now, it all depends on the unemployment numbers. Good numbers could push this thing higher. Bad numbers could cause it to drop towards 440. We're going to be watching that very carefully just to see how it moves, and that's going to affect the whole market. So for NEO for tomorrow... It's going to depend on the unemployment numbers, the big move that's coming tomorrow. So if we're really bullish, you want to see Neo break and hold above 8.8. If, if we achieve that, we could see Neo push for the 9s all over again and see a very, very big push for 9.3. If we're bearish, we're going to be watching this potential inverse cup and handle play out. We're going to see Neo break below 8.2. I think there's some balance down here, so 8.35. If that breaks, we could see Neo tank all the way down to $8. So... I'm going to be open-minded nonetheless. I mean, it could go either way. Uh, we're just going to be waiting to see what happens with the unemployment numbers. So we'll have to wait and see until then. So with that said, guys, just make sure you're prepared and you watch the levels I called out very carefully. And be ready for the unemployment numbers coming in an hour before the market opens for tomorrow. All right. So I am uh, kind of in the middle with Neo. It looks very flat. It looks like it's just getting very tight. We will see. And until the big move comes, I thank you all for listening. Have a great day. Remain calm, cool, and collected, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you, and peace out.